Coordinates, 48 degrees 51 apostrophe 51.7 question mark and 2 degrees 18 apostrophe 06.8 question mark E. Slash. 48.864361 degrees N 2.301889 degrees East. 48.864361, 2.301889 In the early hours of August 31, 1997, Diana, Princess of Wales died in the hospital after being injured in a car crash in a road tunnel in Paris. Her partner, Gotti Fade, and the driver of the Mercedes-Benz W140, Henri Paul, were pronounced dead at the scene. Their bodyguard, Trevor Reese jones survived with serious injuries. Some media claimed the erratic behavior of paparazzi following the car, as reported by the BBC, had contributed to the crash. 2. In 1999, a French investigation found that Paul, who lost control of the vehicle at high speed while intoxicated by alcohol and under the effects of prescription drugs, was solely responsible for the crash. He was the deputy head of security at the Hotel Ritz and had earlier goaded paparazzi waiting for Diana and Fade outside the hotel. 3. Antidepressants and traces of an antipsychotic in his blood may have worsened Paul's inebriation. 4. In 2008, the jury at a British inquest returned a verdict of unlawful killing through grossly negligent driving by Paul and the paparazzi for following vehicles. It was also found that only one of the occupants of the car, Trevor Reese Jones, was wearing a seatbelt. 5. Diana was 36 years old when she died. 6. Her death caused an unprecedented outpouring of public grief in the United Kingdom and worldwide, and her funeral was watched by an estimated 2.5 billion people. The royal family were criticized in the press for their reaction to Diana's death. Public interest in Diana has remained high and she has retained regular press coverage in the years after her death. On Saturday, August 30, 1997, Diana left Sardinia on a private jet and arrived in Paris with Dottie Fade, the son of Mohamed Al Fade. 7. They had stopped there en route to London, having spent the preceding nine days together on board Dodi's father, Mohamed Al Fades, yacht Jonacle on the French and Italian Riviera. 8. They had intended to stay there for the night. Mohamed Al Fade was and is the owner of the Hotel Ritz Paris. He also owned an apartment on Rue Arsène Housset, a short distance from the hotel, just off the Avenue des Champs Elysees. 9. Henri Paul the deputy head of security at the Ritz, had been instructed to drive the hired black 1994 Mercedes-Benz W140 in order to elude the paparazzi, 10, a decoy vehicle left the Ritz first from the main entrance on Place Vadom, attracting a throng of photographers. Diana and Fade then departed from the hotel's rear entrance, 11, Rue Combone at around 020 on 31st of August Sist, 2220 on 30th of August Uck, heading for the apartment in Rue Arsène Housset they did this to avoid the nearly 30 photographers waiting in front of the hotel. 11. They were the rear passengers, Trevor Reese jones a member of the Fade family's personal protection team, was in the, right, front passenger seat. 12. The occupants were not wearing seat belts. A. After leaving the Rue Combone and crossing the Place de la Concorde, they drove along Cour La Reine and Cour Albert Wanner, the embankment road along the right bank of the River Seine into the Place de l'Alma underpass. 13. At 023, Paul lost control of the vehicle at the entrance to the Pont de l'Alma tunnel. The car struck the right-hand wall and then swerved to the left of the two-lane carriageway before it collided head-on with the 13th pillar that supported the roof. 14. The car was traveling at an estimated speed of 105 km per hour, 65 miles per hour 15, dash over twice the tunnel's 50 km per hour. 31 miles per hour, speed limit. It then spun and hit the stone wall of the tunnel backwards, finally coming to a stop. The impact caused substantial damage, particularly to the front half of the vehicle, as there was no guard rail between the pillars to prevent this. 16. Witnesses arriving shortly after the accident reported smoke. 17. Witnesses also reported that photographers on motorcycles swarmed the Mercedes sedan before it entered the tunnel. 18. With the four occupants still in the now wrecked car, the photographers, who had been driving slower and were some distance behind the Mercedes, reached the scene. The photographers were on motorcycles. 11. Some rushed to help, tried to open the doors and help the victims, 
while some of them took pictures. 19. Airbags were deployed. 20. Police arrived on scene around 10 minutes after the crash at 03019, and an ambulance was on site five minutes after the police, according to witnesses. 20. France Info Radio reported that one photographer was beaten by witnesses who were horrified by the scene. 18. Five of the photographers were taken into custody. 17. Later, two others were detained and around 20 rolls of film were taken from the photographers. 18. Police also impounded their vehicles. 18. Firemen also arrived to help remove the victims. 21. Still conscious, Reese Jones had suffered multiple serious facial injuries and a head contusion. 22. The front occupant's airbags had functioned normally. 23. Diana, who had been sitting in the right rear passenger seat, was still conscious. 19. Critically injured, Diana was reported to murmur repeatedly, Oh my God, and after the photographers and other helpers were pushed away by police, leave me alone. 24. In June 2007, the Channel 4 documentary Diana, the witnesses in the tunnel claimed that the first person to touch Diana was Dr. Males, 25, who chanced upon the scene. He reported that Diana had no visible injuries but was in shock. 26. Diana was removed from the car at 1 o'clock. She then went into cardiac arrest and following external cardiopulmonary resuscitation, her heart started beating again. 27. Diana was moved to the SAMU ambulance at 118, left the scene at 141 and arrived at the Pitié Salpêtrière hospital at 206. 28. Fade had been sitting in the left rear passenger seat and was pronounced dead shortly afterwards. 29. Paul was declared dead on removal from the wreckage. 19. Both were taken directly to the Institut Medico Legal, IML, the Paris mortuary, not to a hospital. 30. Paul was later found to have a blood alcohol level of 1.75 grams per liter of blood, which is about 3.5 times the legal limit in France 22, equivalent to about 2.2 times the legal limit in Canada, the UK, and the US. Despite rigorous attempts to save her, Diana's injuries were too extensive and resuscitation attempts, including internal cardiac massage, were unsuccessful, her heart had been displaced to the right side of the chest, which tore the pulmonary vein and the pericardium. Diana later died at the hospital at approximately 4 o'clock. 31-32, anesthesiologist Bruno Ryu announced her death at 6 o'clock at a news conference held at the hospital. 17-33. Later that morning, French Interior Minister Jean-Pierre Chevenment visited the hospital with French Prime Minister Lionel Jospin. 34. At around 1700 hours, Diana's former husband, Charles, Prince of Wales, and her two older sisters, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Lady Jane Fellows, arrived in Paris. 35. The group visited the hospital along with French President Jacques Chirac and thanked the doctors for trying to save her life. 36. Prince Charles accompanied Diana's body home on Sunday. 37. Her body was taken directly to the Hammersmith and Fulham Mortuary in London for a post-mortem examination later that day. 38. Initial media reports stated Diana's car had collided with the pillar at 190 km per hour, 120 miles per hour, and that the speedometer's needle had jammed at that position, 22. It was later announced that the car's speed upon collision was 95 to 110 km per hour, 59 to 68 miles per hour. In either case, the car was certainly traveling about twice as fast as the speed limit of 50 km per hour, 31 miles per hour. In 1999, a French investigation concluded the Mercedes had come into contact with another vehicle, a white Fiat Uno, in the tunnel. 39. The driver of that vehicle was never conclusively traced, although many believe the driver of the Fiat was Levanton. The specific vehicle was not identified. 4039